Hello everyone, this is Shefalina Z and for those of you who are watching the video, you can see we are still not in my kitchen. Well, you can kind of see my kitchen over there, the fridge. But I wanted to share with you that I'm switching up my videos a little bit and I'm not going to be doing as many cooking videos, maybe just a few on my Instagram, like the quick ones. But I realized that when I'm cooking for my clients, I really want to focus on cooking for my clients and not on video production. And then when I'm at home, I'm st I don't want to be in the kitchen doing the videos, to be honest with you. So I but I really want to make a difference in the world and I have so much knowledge and people keep asking me questions about sustainable living and what I've decided to do is to be your guide to sustainable living, healthy, sustainable living through food and fashion. And my friend just watched a video, a documentary on Netflix, and it talked about oceans and pollution and how we as humans contribute to that pollution by eating seafood. And so she's like, oh my God, what am I supposed to be eating? How am I supposed to be living? So I thought I'll do this video very simple I'll show you some food there's really no cooking required for this so it's super super simple I mean some cooking is required but I can teach you some uh, tricks of the trade how to go around it and then uh, you can ask me questions just continue doing so I've been getting so many questions about sustainable living with healthy eating and fashion and I've shared on my social media accounts different ideas for like wearing jeans, sustainable jeans, who knew, right? But did you know actually that if you're buying cotton sweaters, shirts, t-shirts, jeans, and they're not organic, you're actually creating a lot of pollution in the world because all of those pesticides that have to be put on the fields that are to grow the cotton, they're contributing to the pollution in a huge way. And it's a fast fashion environment where we wear a shirt, it has a hole and we throw it out. I mean, I try to you know stitch it up, but um, you know, such such a huge industry that's contributing to our environment and decline of our environment. So I wanted to share how you can actually live sustainably with fashion. But today I'm gonna show you how to live sustainably with seafood. But this is a little different kind of seafood. It's the S E E food, <laughs> the one you see. You know, the joke is I only eat seafood. I see food and I eat it. So I'm gonna show you this little ukulele that I made. Look at this. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, you can see it. For those of you who are on um, podcasts, you have to tune in to see. I have salmon sashimi and shrimp. I'm going to show you a close up. This is a shrimp inside. And this is the sashimi. I'm touching it with my hand, but that's okay because I'm going to be eating it. Look at this. Okay, so this is all vegan. This is all plant based. Like, amazing. I can smell it smells it doesn't smell as seafoody right it doesn't smell as fishy but it's amazing and the texture is on point like no idea how to do it honestly it tastes like freaking shrimp and then I made the sashimi right so I'm gonna show you that it is edible and it's actually delicious but to illustrate the deliciousness you have to try it for yourself it's so good a little cucumber slice. Mmm. Oh my god. It is so good. Don't take my word for it. Do try it. But look at this. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? Pardon my finger. I cut it. Cut my nail by accident. Um. Isn't it amazing? Mmm. It's so good. And it doesn't contribute to the pollution in the world. What you can do. Let's go to this website. I'll put that on my blog and YouTube and podcast. It's a website where you can buy all kinds of vegan things. And what I've been doing for you guys, because I'm so committed to making this world a better place, I'm doing all this research. So these are my favorites so far. I do have another product that I bought. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like this. Plant-based crab cakes. So I haven't opened it yet. It's been sitting in my freezer. I'm gonna open it now. Let's see. Oh my god, that's so cute! Look at this. Little crab cakes. I wonder what will happen if I just try one without defrosting it, but probably gonna be super cold. But look at that. It's amazing. If you pair it up with a healthy bun with some sauce, 
you can make tartar sauce with uh, you know all the vegan ingredients super easy uh, you can use veginase instead of mayonnaise and um, it's delicious it's delicious and it is so much better for the environment and for the animals nobody got hurt and why we care is because our oceans give us life and our planet is mostly water so we really need to take it, care of this planet because this is our home think about it as like somebody coming into your house and polluting it like you wouldn't want to do that so we got to do the same for the earth and um, this is a great way to do it i think sushi is a great way to make the world a better place and i just can't get over like how this looks so much like salmon as i said that doesn't taste as fishy so could be good or bad for some people and you know one of the tips that i teach clients that i coach you don't have to go all the way vegan for example if you do one day vegan one day non-vegan you're already making it better and the goal here is not to be perfect is not to just go cold turkey but or oh, cold vegan turkey i guess to furkey the goal here is not to go to furkey or cold to furkey right the goal here is not to go cold to furkey the goal here is just to be better and do one thing at a time one step at a time and if you're eating a stir fry you know buy this vegan shrimp or if you're making sushi rolls like you're putting a lot of other stuff in it like avocado and cucumber and whatever else you like and the salmon you just want the texture and it has the texture so why not just switch it up and see how it is or even do half and half half regular salmon and half the vegan one and then see how you like it just take it a little bit at a time one step at a time and then you will find you i hope you will find yourself uh, eating more and more this way because you know to me and again i want to lead by example I didn't start out eating healthy right away. Of course, I had the idea. I was like, I'm going to eat healthy. And I did. And then I didn't. You know, then things come up and somebody's like, here, try this or try that. And you just kind of fall off the wagon, so to speak. But what I found for myself is that the more I tried to get back on the wagon, get up back on the wagon, I found my balance. So I'm not 100% vegan, like many of you know, but I strive to be as plant based as I can. And I do not eat animals for fun or for entertainment. I do eat animal protein once in a while for my health. Um, just the way my body is, it needs some red meat once in a while, but I only buy organic, pasture raised, grass fed um, cows who had a good life and were treated with honor and respect, not cows that were sitting in a box the whole lives and eating food that has poop in it because other cows are pooping in it and never saw dead daylight and been pumped with hormones and steroids like that is not what I want to contribute my money to my energy to and my health to so again you don't have to go 100% vegan but just make better choices if you're eating fish or um, fish or seafood if you're eating that then find local fisheries support small business and here's the thing I know a lot of people are going to be th saying thinking thinking saying <laughs> so I'm so excited about it. I lose words I know a lot of people might be thinking, Alina, what about the price? It's expensive to buy, you know, grass fed cow meat or um, sustainable far, you know, salmon that's not farm raised and wild and caught by a small fishery. Yeah, it is more expensive, but we don't need to eat as much of animal protein as people are conditioned to. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of marketing involved in teaching people how to eat so that those companies can make more money and they're, they're subsidized. So subsidized factories, of course, will give you the savings so you will pay less and you can buy like a whole chicken for five dollars. And if you think about it, like that chicken's life is only worth five bucks. Like that's not really honest. I don't know. It makes me feel horrible about it. But do you really need to eat a whole chicken? in one day or two days most likely you don't most likely people eat meat or animal protein like three times a day for breakfast there is egg and sausage for lunch there is a chicken salad and for dinner there's a burger you know so to speak and you really don't have to eat so much meat because meat takes 24 to 48 hours to digest and that's a lot of pressure and a lot of energy that goes into digestion instead of going into your life and you can eat meat once a day, every once every couple of days, and you'll be fine. You'll feel even better. You don't have to give it up. 
but just eat less. When you eat less, uh -huh, you're saving money. So instead of buying, let's say, a pound of beef for five dollars, you're now buying a pound of beef for ten dollars. But instead of eating it in one day, you're eating it in two days. So technically, you're spending ten dollars for two days supply. So it's not even gonna matter with that because you're budgeting it in differently. You're going for quality and not quantity. And then if you're thinking, well, what are you supposed to eat the rest of the time? Um, well, I love black beans, for example, or kidney beans. And beans, even at Whole Foods, even organic ones that come in a box, not a can, but a box, so there's no aluminum, cost 89 cents. 89 cents for this whole box. And like you can eat that with rice and veggies that are super inexpensive. And if you're still curious about how can you can save money on produce and all kinds of food, look up my book. It's on my website. It's free. I created it last year when the pandemic started. It's called Budget Eating and how to eat on a budget and still treat yourself. So it's not like just rice and beans. It actually is tasty, but very inexpensive. And combine the two. I'll tell you a funny story, <laughs> not about food, but just my, about my approach to life in general. I went into Walmart once, not a big fan of Walmart. I like Target, but I did go once and I saw these shorts and they were so cute and they were like $10 and they were white and I still have them and I bought them. And then I had a vintage top that I bought like at the consignment store that wasn't also expensive, like $20 or something. And then I had super expensive high heels and together like $10 sh uh, shorts, $20 top and expensive shoes. It kind of balanced itself out, this whole outfit. And I also look at price per wear. So I don't spend that much money on something I'm going to only wear once or twice. But if I'm going to wear it for a long time, it will be worth it over time because it's timeless pieces. Look at the same with food at the same way. You don't have to buy everything expensive or everything organic or everything vegan, but the staples, like the things that are important that every day they should be quality. And then if you want the staple to be meat, then buy it quality because you, your body, your health is so much more important than anything. Because if you don't have your health, how are you going to enjoy life? How are you going to enjoy doing things? And I'm a big believer, you know, you only live once, you got to have a good time. And with that, like, yeah, you want to have a good time having a healthy body. Who can have a good time when you have aches, when you have pains, when you don't feel good, right? Or how can you have fun when you cannot breathe because the pollution is so bad? Or how can you have fun and live your life if the water is not good? Those are kind of the necessities here, you know, water and air and then food. And so I want to invite you to try this stuff, like try, try the sushi, just try it. You know, you don't have to eat it every day. You don't have to cook much. You can buy a sushi rice at a sushi store for like a dollar. They can give you like a whole thing. Um, or you can buy sushi rice and just boil it. It's boiling it with water and then putting some vinegar and some um, syrup, like some maple syrup on it. I put a set of sugar and that's it. Like. It's so simple to boil rice. And then you just chop up the sashimi and it's done. You chop up the cucumber and that's done. The, the shrimp, you just defrost it in some oil. Like these are the simplest things. I figured this is another thing. Like why would I do a cooking video on this? Because it really doesn't involve that much. But what it does involve, what I want to share with you is my knowledge and my passion <laughs> And my research that I've been doing all this time for you guys um, because I love doing it I love doing it and I love sharing it with you because then people text me hey Alina I've made your chili uh, I you know made this chili this vegan chili in uh, January 2000 2016 January 2016 five years ago and this friend of mine tried it and he was like oh my god this is amazing and then he just made it again like five years later and I will tell you a funny story. When I was at this dinner party, we were coming to this house and everybody was talking about how excited they were about eating all the food and they were making steaks. And frankly, like back then, I didn't eat meat and I really wanted it. And I was so cold that day. We were in Napa Valley with friends and I was just freezing, wearing like super, super warm boots. 
and I said well I don't eat meat so I'm gonna make it chili and it's vegan and I'm just gonna put it on a table for anybody to enjoy and everyone just like went for it we were sitting at the big table and they were eating my chili and I was sitting there thinking I just really want some meat and then I thought well this meat was already prepared for these people right and they're eating my chili so technically i'm not creating the demand i'm not increasing the demand but my body wanted meat so badly so as they were eating my vegan chili i had some meat and i will tell you my hands immediately started to feel warmer my feet finally started to feel warmer and i've had those moments so many times that i kind of just gave up struggling with myself and when my body craves meat i eat it before i get that symptom of super cold feet super cold hands and just super lethargic energy so i try to do that before but my point here is that by putting the vegan chili and putting the meat together it was already reducing the demand and it was reducing the product the meat was only half of the entree the other half was plant-based and everybody benefited from it so that is my approach that i want to share Again, I already said it before, but you don't have to do it all. It doesn't have to be um, quick, vegan only. What it can be is curiosity. It can be, let me just try it and see what it's like. Because this chick on YouTube, Alina Z, says it kind of tastes good. So let me be adventurous about it. Right? I mean, we all learn to eat things at once in our lifetimes we weren't born we're like oh i crave a cheeseburger because when you were yay big you were not craving cheeseburger i can promise you that and uh, we were eating fruits and veggies straight after if you were bottle fed or breastfed after that we were eating fruits and veggies and i invite you to go back to your nature really to eat more fruits and veggies and to introduce yourself to really cool things and check out the website. I'm not affiliated with it, unfortunately, yet, but maybe because I really, really love it. Um, get the F out. <laughs> it's vegan. That's what it's called. I ordered so much stuff, so I'm so excited to share. So that's my spiel for the day, uh, for the week, is to invite you to save our oceans one crabless crab cake at a time, one sushi so uh, vegan uh, salmon and shrimp sashimi at a time and as you can see this is a little ukulele shape and that is my I was thinking what should I serve it on so it pops because I didn't want to put white plate and I thought my heart sings it's like music to my ears so I put it in this ukulele uh, made in Hawaii sustainably small small business and I so so love supporting small businesses because you know that's the heart and soul of america that's the whole you know that's going back to basics going back to the essence small businesses with heart that make the world a better place so cheers to your health i'm gonna cheer you with my water with apple cider vinegar uh, because it's really good for digestion and i invite you to try that as well and message me your questions what i can answer for you next time and until then cheers bye